well, where did we leave off? I think I left off. Well, I know someone had left a comment about it as well. How did me and my wife met? Well, we're going to talk about this today because my story takes a turn at this point, a little bit more hope overall for the story. So there was some respite that was found among the realities unknown and a willingness to search out and speak to those in the world. Moving past the years of schooling into a working man, I find ways to enjoy some things while forgetting the past. But longing for someone, for a companion of my own, I turn to, out of all things, online chat logs, also known as ICQ. Now, this is probably one of the weirdest parts of why I'm diving into this fandom, why I kind of integrated into it so well. Me and my wife actually met on ICQ. Um, ICQ is an old school messenger system back like Windows 95 days. Like we're talking old at this point. And it was just something that we did. And back in those days, you could search out people via their interests and our interests just kind of lined up at that point. Uh, you know, we, we both put in medieval settings, stuff like that. And it just happened to work out and uh, moving forward, you know, it kind of settled everything. Um, at the time I was working at a, a department store. One thing led to another. She, my wife actually was going to school, uh, nearby where I was living. And so just one thing kind of led to another at that point. And you know, that's when we, we met, I, when was that? I think I, I think we were 20. I was 20 at the time. Like this is a long time ago at this point. And you know, I, I, I remember certain things like her stealing my wolf blanket. Yes, I have a giant fuzzy wolf blanket that I have had for a very long time. And she stole it on me at one point. She stole it and hid it on me at one point. And it's kind of funny because that was the one thing that really, really got at me. I'm like, no, you cannot take my wolf blanket. That's my wolf blanket. That's my wolf. That's part of me. <laughs> and look where we are right now. Look where I am right now, sitting here, sitting here telling you that, uh, no, I wasn't anywhere near this fandom at that point. I didn't know anybody. I, I didn't even think of this fandom at that point. And now, now we are completely different. Now, now I, now that I've gotten some knowledge, some friends, some avatars, it's become a lot more in that sense of things that I just never knew I was missing out on. Ah, uh, so we both were very enthralled with fantasy and medieval times and stuff like that. The medieval age in particular, that once we got married, we actually did a medieval wedding. We sat there in the Celtic Hall here in Edmonton, and we had a huge wedding. There, there was only a hundred people that were there, but it still was a pretty big wedding in that sense. And... It was medieval. We had Knights of the Northern Realm, part of what's called the uh, SCA. The I can't remember what it stands for, but they are an actual group, a LARP group that perform and do actual battles with sword fight and maces and shield. And they performed at our wedding. They did an amazing job overall. And everyone that went to that wedding, they remember it to this day. They remember that wedding to this day. Me and my wife, we, you know, we, it, it was just a match at that point. We've done everything. Of course, it, it's never always good. <laughs> and this is, this is kind of where things, you know, we, we're, we're still together. We're still doing very well together. Um, but unfortunately my wife suffers from a disease and that disease makes having a kid very, very difficult. Now there's a lot of things that happen. Uh, we went through what's called an IUI. Um, we actually went through eight of them. Um, that's where they try and just help things along. Um, and, uh, they, they failed without 
without anything. So we ended up going the ultimate route of IVF. It's uh, not a very cheap process. Um, it, it is quite expensive and it's not covered. Um, there's basic things that do get covered, like the blood work and stuff like that. But IVF in itself, the drugs, the, the just everything overall, it, it, it put us in the hole pretty bad to do this. At the time, I was working very well. I, I, I you know, if it wasn't for her parents before I got married or before we got married, they actually put me through electrical school. They actually were the ones that got me out of the retail job, helped me find a, a electrical apprenticeship and move on. And they supplemented what we could. And now this is where we're at. Now I'm an electrician. I do a lot of things. Uh, I do a lot of things outside of, uh, work and, uh, now we're uh, full fledged avian avatar that uh, is not part of a phoenix so yeah where where does that go at that point but the the wedding the ivf they helped us with that as well uh we had help from other family um and we went through ivf ivf in itself like i said is a very expensive pro process um we at the time I was working very well. I was working, um, as a journeyman, um, making decent coin. Um, this is long before the channel even existed, but then it, it kind of took for a turn. Um, I'm in the middle of, I'm in the middle of a shutdown right now. And back at that time, we were, we were about a week into a shutdown and that shutdown got cut short very, very quickly for me because at approximately 24 weeks into her pregnancy from the IVF, um, our son was born. This is not normal. This is not normal at all. Um, he was born 15 weeks premature. Um, 700 grams is what he weighed. He literally was this big, was the, 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 that big. If you can think about this, take your hands and put them together that's how big he was, was the size of your hands together. He was 700 grams. Give you an idea for weight. That's a stick and a half of butter. Like you get a pound of butter, add half of that. And that's how much he weighed at birth. He was a tiny little thing, struggled to survive. And, uh, you know, this is where hopes and dreams live on a prayer at that point because it, 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 we're still living this today, but I ended up off work for three years. Um, they, our kid, he, he's seven now. He's doing very, extremely well for, for what he's gone through. Um, yes, we do have our issues with that, but that's besides the point. Um, and it's very hopeful for the future for all of us right now. Um, I'm back to working a normal job, back to doing things. You know, yeah, I'm in the middle of a shutdown, but those are things that happen. That's what happens when you go into the trades. You, you end up sacrificing a little bit to make a little bit of coin here and there, and then you end up getting more time off later on down the line. So this is, this is why we have a YouTube channel now, right? I had started really uploading on the YouTube channel when I was off work for those three years with my child. The thing was, I could not leave the house. There was no way I could go out anywhere. There was nothing I could do but sit there on a computer and try and play games. And I was like, why not at this point? I've already started this channel. I'm not doing anything with it. So why don't I just start live streaming? And that's about the time that Magic the, Magic the Gathering Arena really, really came to the forefront. And I really played a lot of that. Um, but back to the kiddo. You know, the, it, it kind of just moved on. It moved on. And when I had met the wife and we moved on with our lives, everything kind of went away. Everything like the, the thoughts, the, the, everything we just moved on and we lived our lives. We made friends. We, we did a lot of things before the, you know, the kiddo came. And now with the kid, it's a completely different scenario. And we feel like we're living life again at the same time. And, you know, at the same time we have, everything going on with, uh, with online, with YouTube and stuff like that. Years go by, life moves on and the sunder of the day continues ever more. Till one faithful day, a new soul rises. My son is born 
a small, weak flame struggles to breathe, struggles to life. But that of a phoenix born will not extinguish, instead fights for whole. And this is part of, part of it, right? The, the kid, yeah, he's struggling to survive, but he's the son of a phoenix at this point. He, he's my son. He's going to get up and he's going to do great things. That's the difference here. I see a greatness in everybody about me. And that's where the hope really moves forward in all of this. If you can't have a little bit of hope in life, then I, where, where does it really put us? It puts us at a, a grade that we just going to fall down. We're going to get into a depression. We're going to get down. We're going to not be where we want to be in life. And that's the big difference. And that's why I have to maintain that hope. Yes, we were down. We were out. We were almost, we were almost on the streets. Those three years. Yeah. I was doing YouTube, but I was almost, we, we, we just about lost it all in those three years. Um, when you don't have income coming in, I was on long-term disability. I couldn't even, I, I didn't know what to do. And I was reaching out for help and yes, a bunch of you did help, but it still was very hard. It, it, it still was incredibly hard to get through those three years, but that's where I mean the sacrifices, what we had to give up. The, the other thing that we've recently had to give up, uh, I haven't spoken about, uh, spoke about this to anybody, um, especially around the channel, but I feel it's relevant to speak about it now. When we went through IVF, we had frozen em embryos. The entire process we were supposed to, we were supposed to go forward to try and have another child. Um, the, it, it's painful but we had to let them all go. Um, the, the costs were storage, everything, um, just piled up and it ballooned and we had to refinance everything. We had to redo everything. And in that refinance, we had to let the embryos go. Uh, there was actually 10 frozen embryos and it didn't help that what happened here in our hometown of Edmonton, the, the current government that got into power decided to axe the entire program and move the clinic from Edmonton, Alberta to Vancouver, BC. So not only did we have to let them go because of that move, because now if we wanted to sit there and go through another process of this, um, that cost ballooned. It went from the storage cost to storage cost plus flight plus hotel plus living in Vancouver and not working. It, it, it's not impossible. It was not possible. We had to let it all go. And it really sucks. It really does suck because we did want to have a second child. Um, so that unfortunately is the, the, the life of things. We had to let things go and it, it sucks. It, it really sucks because it's not, it's not something that we wanted to do. Uh, we wanted to move forward with our lives and do and have another child and move forward. We have the one, we also compliment, you know, we debated it back and forth. We went up and down. We had the one, we had such complications with it. Do we do this a second time? And that was also part of the factor and, uh, where we are now. Yeah, we have one kid, but he's having the time of his life and he has parents that love him dearly. So that's where we're at right now with all of that. So, you know, at least at this point, we're very hopeful and you know what? I've already gone talked on for far too long. So I'm going to leave this for another day. Um, thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, and if you are enjoying this comment, I beg you comment down below. Let me know you're enjoying this whole series. And if you know anybody, anybody that would appreciate a, a series going like this and talking about someone's life. How did they get here? Life share this out. I have to tell you the reach of these videos are very limited because it's not something that m this channel is acquainted to. And if you, if you don't share them out, I don't know if I can continue doing this series. So I'm just going to ask you that, ask you that as much as it's possible. 
Anyway, like, subscribe. If you're new here, comment down below and I will see you very soon. Also Twitch stream, uh, will be Friday night. So this is going up on a Friday. So tonight will be the Twitch stream as well. So hop over to the Twitch channel and I will see you soon.